I am a Jedi. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Spray Tees. Um, this episode's going to be talking about spring brake design. You know, we had a really popular seller this season. Uh, this design that we're featuring right now that you're going to learn about um, is really basic. Uh, initially, I just kind of pre-sketched it. You know, uh, just did my thing. Uh, not a lot of rocket science here, guys. Just um, basically stenciled a design out. You know, I took an X-Acto blade, uh, I had some cellophane that I used, uh, I think it was like 12 mils, which, by the way, if you don't know what a mil is, just to educate you, it's the thickness of the vinyl or the composite that you're using. Uh, in this case, I just used some a basic uh, uh, 12 mil cellophane and or miler and uh, cut into it, did a really cool looking drip effect. Um, then I just started to spray, you know, I just um, started making Make something look cool, so on and so forth. Now, <clears throat> before I designed this, I comped it. And for you people that don't understand compositions, it's basically a rough sketch. It, this is not major rocket science, like I said before. It's, it's just a rough sketch. I got it and I said, okay, that looks kind of hip. Kind of studied a little bit of demographics. Demographics meaning, you know, I studied what people are doing, what they're looking at, and what's selling, what's popular. So that's what you're basically seeing me do here, is um, kind of spraying what I already comped out or created previously. Uh, once I felt that it was pretty good looking, I ran with it. And um, this is the end result, what you're seeing right now. So what you're seeing here is I'm, I'm adding pink in and uh, some white highlights. Uh, um, basic, I mean, the, a picture says a thousand words. What you're seeing right here is exactly what I'm doing. And you can do it too, this is not rocket science. You don't have to have 20 years of airbrush experience to do what it is that I'm doing. It's basic sense stencil work. Um, but you do have to have the experience and that does play into the design stuff. If you're watching what everybody else is doing, and trust me, a lot of what airbrushers are doing, I'm seeing new stuff come along that's absolutely amazing, but a lot of this stuff has been very stagnant the last 10 years. It's been, you know, uh, not to knock certain things, but it's been the same rehash or regurgitation or vomiting of the same uh, design work. And it hasn't been cool, airbrush hasn't been hip or something fantastic. So I think that by creating new design work and uh, by inspiring you to create new design work, you'll be able to do exactly what I'm doing. Now here's a neat little trick. Um, what I'm doing right here is I'm taking a paper towel, and usually what I do is I uh, tape the ends so that the paper towel doesn't open up on it. Um, a lot of people like to use a roller on the stencil. The problem is is that when you're using that stencil over and over again, uh, it tends to get wet. So what you do is you take a roll of paper towels, roll over the top of it, and then go ahead and spray. Um, a lot of times what happens is, is that if that stencil's already wet on the top, you'll go to spray and then all of a sudden you get what we call bleed through on the stencil. It's not going to look good. So that's what you're seeing here. now. What I did was, I scripted the lettering myself, um, but I made a stencil because I had to do, I don't know, a, a couple hundred of these shirts. Um, and this was just in one order. So what we did was I, I did the script, so um, you always want to make sure that your shirts look somewhat the same. Um, you know, not everything is the same, but especially when you're trying to work, uh, work this many designs and you want to work smarter, not harder. Now I know a lot of you enthusiasts out there are going to be like, well he using stencils, he cheating. Um, but not really. You gotta remember guys, this is business. And in business, you wanna make sure that the product is number one. So whatever the, co uh, the, the customer gets, skill-wise or not skill-wise, there's always gonna be little idiosyncrasies or mistakes that are gonna happen when you don't plan things out. So what you're seeing here is something that's well-planned. Um, each one of these shirts takes me about five to seven minutes to do. Um, if you have multiple airbrushers, Keeping along with the same stencils will look the same. Now, if you notice, I added the white highlights. I'm coming in and I'm showing you the rest. Guys, this is it. There's no rocket science. There you go. There is a typical airbrush design by Spray Tees. Go to the website. Subscribe to us. Check us out. Um, don't be scared. Ask questions. If you have any recommendations of what designs you'd like to see, go for it. This is Brim Leal. I'll talk to you next week.